most every day I'll have the viral video on Did there. Did you put it in or does um, Nathan? I, I, Nathan cuts it. But you put it in the run Yeah. Okay. Is that cool? Yeah, it's just, I, that way, I mean. And I forgot to remind you today. Yeah, that way I know. So, gotcha. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm ready for it. It's just all I need to do is just, you know, copy and then paste the paste the. Uh, Sounds good, fella. Hello, Stormy. Hi, Sarah. How are you? Oh, it's great. Good to see you. Are you ready for the, the big announcement today? Yeah, I am. been waiting for a while and I'm glad to be a part of this. So. Well, excellent. Well, I'm, I'm happy to have you on our show to talk about it as well. Hello, Jake. How are you doing? Hey, Sarah. How are you? Good. Good to see you. And hi, Krista. Nice to meet all of you. Hi, I'm, nice to meet you. I'm Sarah Hill from uh, the NBC affiliate in Columbia, Missouri. So, um, just to give you a little bit of a lay of the land on how the show works, um, at the top of the show we take a shot of the whole entire hangout where people are waving or if you want to hold up a kitchen utensil or whatever you would, li you would like to do. Um, some people also give the U sign, that's kind of a, a sign that we use during the news. But if you're in your kitchen, you know, whatever, whatever you want to um, hold up is fine. I mentioned at the top of the show that we're cooking up um, a neat announcement to tell you about. So hello, Jenny. How are you? Hi. How are you doing? Great. Good to see Good. you're in your kitchen there. Nice to meet you. I'm Sarah Hill from the NBC affiliate in Columbia. Nice to meet you. Yeah. So happy to have you on the show today. Thank you for um, having me. Just telling um, some of the other other guests there. Um, Joe Joe will also be joining us, correct? Yeah. I, I think so. Okay. Good. Um, do you guys have? I'm hearing a little bit of feedback on your line, Krista. Um, do you have any earbuds by chance? And if you don't, it's okay, but I'm just hearing some, some feedback on your line. I do. I have, um, I have honestly, I have one from, from my phone. I don't know what that works. Yeah, that's, you mean your earbuds for your phone? Uh-huh. Yeah, that's fine. Plug them into your, your speakers either on your laptop or on your computer. Okay. Um, I'm just hearing myself two seconds later in, in her thumbnail. Hey, Joe, good to see you. Hi, Sarah. How are you? Doing good, doing good. I was just giving everybody the lay of the land. Um, at the top of the show, we will take a shot of the Hangout and mention that it's filled with um, chefs from all over and going to be talking about an exciting announcement. So I said if they have you know, a kitchen utensil or a pear or something that they want to hold up um, during that top announcement, that would be great. And what we do is we'll do a little bit of news, probably about three minutes of news, and then we'll come to you guys in the first block um, for the interview. All right. Um, the interview itself is about a couple minutes, and then we come back to you later on um, in the show for another check-in um, as well. And how would you like me to start? I guess, should I start with you, Joe? Uh, that's fine. And, uh, and uh, I'll just make some sort of announcement about what we're launching today. And uh, and let me ask you just on a, on a sound check. It sounds very hollow in, in this big boardroom. So I can I can put on headphones if you prefer. No, um, actually I'm not hearing any reverb on your. I'm looking at, the, at my levels here, and you've got nothing green when I'm talking. So you are you are good. However, if we could see the top of your head, that would be awesome because you're cutting off the top of your head. That would be no. Good. Yes, no. <laughs> Um, some computers, for some reason, they've got um, a noise canceling feature that it works, and then some don't. So, um, and yeah, Krista, I think that is that good. Yeah, that's a lot. Yes, thank you. That okay. eliminated it. So, thanks okay, a lot. Good. I appreciate. No it. problem. No problem. Um, so, Joe, I'll I'll start with you and primarily ask you, you know, what is what is the service? How do people um, subscribe? What are some of the things that you're offering there? What's you know the price point? What kind of technology do they need in order to uh, be a part of these cooking classes? Um, and it, it, what else do you want me to touch on? That's it. I, I, I think that 
that uh, <clears throat> one of one of the things that I'd like to first of all, you're welcome to ask any of these chefs any questions that you can think of. Okay. Uh, th all of these chefs are are uh, are been working on this now for months, and I would love to see them get get as much, if not frankly, more airtime than me. Um, the story here is about the chefs, and it's it's about a, a brand new technology that has enabled something, frankly, that's a first on the web. And never before have you been able to go to a website and, and find over 60 classes, or two dozen chefs, and be able to, to take cooking classes from the comfort of your own kitchen. And that's the kind of thing that I want to make sure people know about. Our chefs are, are so diverse, and they come from all over the place, and they, they'll teach you everything from desserts to raw food to uh, a whole array of different types of uh, awesome things. Okay. Once a week cooking with Cresta is just a phenomenal concept. And, okay. and like that alone is a store. Uh, and uh, uh, so anyway, um, and we have some special things on Valentine's Day. I expect two more chefs to be here shortly. Um, and uh, But yeah, it, it, you know, and then, and then one thing that I want to share with the world is is you know I think about a a uh, a dad in New York. He's got he's got a couple of sons or daughters scattered about the country, and he wants to have a chance to interact uh, with them. So he buys them something special, a cooking class, and then after they make something amazing together, and the chef is gone, they can dine together, family to family, face to face, kitchen to kitchen, and never before have people been able to do that. And I think that's amazing. Okay. And I will pull up while well while, while we're doing the interview, just so you all know, um, while Joe's talking, I might pull up thumbnails of you all. So if you're either in your kitchen or if you're you're cooking or anything like that, heads up that you that I'm punching up those different thumbnails while while he's talking. I'll also pull up the website um, as well, just to show people that. Okay. Okay. And I want to make sure I'm pronouncing your names right. Um, Jake Croston. Okay, sounds good. And um, Jake, can you count to ten for us, just so we can check your microphone? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sounds I was, good. You I was muted there. Just oh, you okay? Yeah, I muted myself because I was opening a can. Ah, <laughs> not opening not a can. All right, sounds good. I, um, no drinking in the morning. <laughs> Go ahead, Joe. I, I just want I just want you to understand that that. These chefs also have statements prepared if you felt like doing that. On the other hand, I, I know that a red statement is, is, is probably never that good. That's why I tried not to prepare for this. And I, I'd yeah. rather just we just hit it from, from the, from, take, shoot from the hip here. I think that's going to come across as a lot more real. Yeah, the less prepared statements, the better. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, okay, I think we are good. We are about 10 minutes from the top of the show. They're just... Uh, setting some things up with microphone checks and everything. So if you all need to make a sandwich or anything, <laughs> that would be the time. And um, you all will probably be, I mean, we'll be finished with uh, the interviews. At the end of the show, we also take a, a shot of the hangout as well. So I don't know what your time frame is. We would love for you to stay for the entire 30 minutes from 11 to 11.30 if you're able to. If you're not, I totally understand. Um, but uh, would would love to take a shot of you at the end, and then we could mention it again. By the way, um, this service is now live, and we're also streaming live within G Plus right now. So even before the even before the show, we're streaming live. So I'm going to set some things up. Um, if any of you all want to uh, mention anything, since people are watching this this right now, feel free. Okay. Jake, talk talk about. So we'll start with Jake. Jake, talk about where you're from and and what you do. Um, well, I'm from originally from Ohio, uh, but right now I live in Pittsburgh and uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and basically been cooking uh, as my career since before high school, and uh, it's all I've ever really done and known. And um, this is something that's really cool that I think a lot of people are going to be looking for, both chefs and uh, you know, people looking to take classes and learn something because you can pretty much learn anything on this site about food. So I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. Excellent. Um, we're also streaming this hangout on our website. 
um, right now as well. And people will be live chatting with us during the show. In the chat section, I'm going to type that um, link. And it's konu.com slash streaming dash newscast. Now, Joe, are you wait did you say you're waiting on two more to arrive? I expect two more will be here. Okay, sounds good. I'll wait until they join before I open it up um, to the rest of our circles just to make sure that we've got everybody there. And how about you, Jenny? Where are you? I'm actually in Houston, Texas. Uh, I am a YouTuber. I'm one of those crazy people that puts... Uh, yeah. Crazy people. <laughs> no, not crazy. <laughs> no, we're not crazy. But I have a lot of fun. My whole concept is having tons of fun and teaching people how to cook and making it easy but fun and costumes. I'm in a cheerleader outfit. That's why I'm <gasps> in a cheerleader outfit. Oh, that's awesome. Every different video is a theme, so I like to be engage people, whether or not it's in the kitchen or online or in a video, and just kind of make it either a holiday-themed or whatever, but just make it easy because a lot of the people that watch me don't know how to cook or just want a little bit of entertainment. So we have fun all around. And I used to be an internal auditor, but now I'm a YouTube chef. So That is a complete three. You used to be an auditor. Yeah. <laughs> what, what did you, you do not look like a numbers cruncher. I love numbers. I just would rather cook and eat <laughs> and share with other people how to have fun. That is so great. It's a so lot more fun. So you left your job to become. I did. That is awesome. Wow, that's I really did. great. I did. Um, um, I'm just curious, uh, Sarah, have you invited Haley Otto? Um, if she was in that original post that you sent me, but let me, um, how do you spell her name? Uh, it's uh, Haley, H-A-Y-L-E-E-O-T-T-O, uh, -T -T -O, and uh, she's waiting for the invitation. Okay. Um, yeah, she was in that original circle, and I will invite her. Anybody else? I'll re-invite her. Anybody else I need to re-invite? Yes, there's, a, there's another one that I'm, I, need, I need to go to the post. And, and, uh, okay. I, she should see it again now. I just sent it to her again. Uh, do you all have, anyone have the, uh, the other chef's name off the top of your head? I'm Is it um, Jackie? Or I'll just oh, yeah. Yeah, it's Jackie. Jackie. Jackie, that's right. Jackie, okay. J-A-C-K-I-E. Uh -huh, yeah. Jackie M. Okay. Yeah, she was in that original circle as well, so I'll but I'll invite her again. So she should see it invitation as well. Um, Sarah, on those comments that are streaming on your website, uh huh. Is there can we reply back? Is there a way Yes. Or do you, do you expect us to, or? Yes, we would love it, if, we'd okay. love it if you would. Mm -hmm. And once you post them, um, we've got somebody moderating them, so they, they approve oh, them really quickly in there. Um, but yeah, you, absolutely, you can talk um, to people in there. We would just okay. ask that you not have the video playing um, when we do the interview, because you'll hear the reverb of the show back in your thumbnail. Okay, so, yeah, that would be yeah. annoying. <laughs> yeah, so don't click on the, anything that says watch here. Um, okay. But the people who are watching this can certainly see the on-air portion that's at KOMU.com streaming dash newscast. And I've tweeted, we've tweeted about this and um, also posted on our fan page as well. Um, my Twitter is Sarah Midmo, S-A-R-A-H-M-I-D-M-O. Is there any way that anybody else can invite Haley into the room? I invited her once. Um, let me make sure I've got 
that you have the right link. One two three four five five four three two one. One two three four five five four three two one. One two three four five five four three two one. One two three four five. Microphone check. Joe, did you get much sleep last night? I went through. I did. Oh, good. About <laughs> about five hours. Oh, that's good. That's good. I mean, you don't look tired, but. Mm -hmm. Hello yeah. to Kenneth and also to Tyler and Chad Lafarge who are watching on the live stream. So we're just waiting for a couple other chefs to join us and then we can, um, we can op open it up. And here's Haley. Hi, Hi. Haley. Hello. Good to see you. Great to see you too. Hey, we, you've got a little bit of static on your line. Do you hear that on yeah. your end? Um, I'm not sure why that is, but you might hop out of the Hangout and rejoin it. And then join back in? Yeah, or? I'm not sure. There's a little bit of a uh, buzz or something like that. How are you doing, Stormy? Doing well. Just thought I'd tweet. So. <laughs> so Tweeting is good. <laughs> yeah, I know. This is exciting. <clears throat> we'll post um, the interview segment on the show as a separate web story, and it will be on uh, later this afternoon that you guys can share. Um, but just so you know. Haley, for some reason, I'm still hearing a bit of a buzz. Hey, Chad Lafarge. Um, How are you doing, Sarah? I'm doing well. All right, do I need to hop back out? No, I think you're fine. Um, when we do the interview, we might ask you to mute. Okay, um, no problem. You're fine for right now. Haley, is there any chance that you have a fan going near your, your laptop? No, it's silent in here. I've got nothing. And again, at the top of the show, if you guys want to wave, if you've got a kitchen utensil that you'd like to hold up, um, Chad Lafarge, we've got lots of chefs in our hangout today. Uh, maybe. Sure, something in the You're fine. 30 seconds. And when you see me go like this, that means it's a hand signal for standby. So, um, and then when I point to you, that means that we're taking the hangout full, so wave, utensils or whatever. And Joe's done this before, Chad has too, so they can give you a heads up um, when we take it live. Okay. Five seconds. Stand by. Even in his older days, Matthew Broderick just wants to skip work. The short viral video this weekend gets its full release, and Ferris Bueller fans are twisting and shouting. Today on U News, the global debut of Chef Hangout, bringing cooking classes to your kitchen via your computer. Rick Santorum in Missouri today, a mid-Missouri fire hazard, and later we'll have our U-Tunes local music mix with music from Bachman. A fire over the weekend was an accident, according to firefighters, but police still have a suspect. And the afternoon temperatures well above average for today and tomorrow, almost about 25, 26 degrees. Forecast is coming up. Okay. Got it? Okay, guys. Stand by. Use or... Stand by. You got control? Okay, here we go. Stand by. You're live. Hello. Hey, gang. It is Monday, January 30th. 
Hello to all of our chefs in our Google Plus Hangout today. We are cooking up a very exciting announcement. We can't wait to tell you about it. Welcome to You News. I'm Sarah Hill. Again, we have chefs from all over the world on our cyber couch. We're really excited to chat with them. And today they will make a global announcement about how this technology, Google Plus Hangouts that we're using on the news right now, is coming to your kitchen. So we will certainly have more on that with Joe Sod in just a minute. A reminder, we are live chatting with you right now. That's happening on our streaming newscast page at the top of our website. So click on that. You can also go to Facebook right now to let me buy you lunch in our password game. But first, for the news, an update for you on a duplex fire that happened over the weekend in Columbia. Columbia fire officials say unattended cooking on a stove top caused this fire without permission. A resident living in Unit B of this complex entered Unit A in order to use the unit's electricity. The resident used the stove top to heat cooking oil and left it unattended. Officials say the fire was unintentional. Police arrested John Robert Allen, though, for trespassing, but later released him after he agreed to appear in court. The National Weather Service has issued a fire alert due to the warm temperatures we're about to experience today, meaning fires are more likely to spark outside due to gusty winds and dry conditions. Counties under the watch include Lynn, Sheraton, Saline, Cooper, Pettis, Morgan, Miller, Camden, Benton, Johnson, Lafayette, and Carroll counties. That watch is expected to expire at 6 p.m. tonight. So, Dave, guess I can't burn my twilight books outside today, huh? Way too breezy for that, Sarah. Because we've got abundant sunshine and the southwesterly wind at 10 to 15 miles per hour. That's why the fire hazard has been posted in yes. It's going to be very much above average today. Like you burn high something with Edward. Please, 40 would be a typical high for us on the last day of January. We're going to probably hit 66 and again, plenty of sunshine. For tonight, we'll even be mild there because we're looking at tonight's time forecast. Down to 43 degrees with just a few clouds. Continued rather mild. And then for uh, tomorrow, it looks like it will still be rather warm. Guys, we can't generally make conversations. It's just a good idea to pay attention to what's going on on the screen. We'll have more on the forecast, of course, coming up in just a few minutes. Right here on News, Dave, thanks a lot. Missouri senators are debating a bill that changes the wording for discrimination. KMUH Jonathan Katz joins us now live from the state capitol to explain exactly what this bill means. Hello, Jackie. Seems like her uh, screen keeps freezing up. Oh, shoot. Okay, I'm sorry. So, Chad, you said we could talk, <laughs> clearly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, that's fine. And, and we, use, we generally use the chat window on the side to, to uh, give information to other users while Sarah is talking. If, um, we try and stay out of her ear when she's tr when she's actively doing something, but otherwise we can make conversation and everything's fine. If she's showing us on the screen and you'll see us in the big screen behind her and you chat, a little a little bubble will pop up with what you're saying. So so you don't want to chat what's behind the curtain. Okay. You know, I'm kind of I feel like a deer in the headlights. I'm like, okay, I'll just sit quietly. <laughs> <laughs> It's very courteous to do that. All right, Jonathan, thanks a lot. And Joplin, crews are clearing out the old to make way for the new. Last May, the oh, tornado destroyed most of St. John's Mercy Hospital. Demolition crews took a wrecking ball to what remained of the hospital yesterday. They expect the demolition process to last about six weeks and have already broken ground on a brand new hospital complex. And the, while the Occupy movement has been quiet in Colombia, it's a different story in the nation's capital. Police have given protesters an ultimatum. Stop camping overnight or go to jail. CNN's Greg Black has that story. Did we drop A18, Nathan? Did we drop A18? Because it was out of the prompter.
Haley, I saw a couple of your classes got bought. It's cool. There we go. Yeah, I had um, some family friends that wanted to get in, so. Cool. Do I still have the static? I changed microphones. Dropping a 30 and 31? Yes. Just a little bit. A little bit, Haley. I wonder what that's from. It's Yeah, it's completely dead in here. I have no idea. Yeah, there's definitely just a... It may be some sort of electronic appliance near your uh, computer. I don't know. <laughs> Is your cell phone right next to your phone? You, if your cell phone's right next to your phone, that often makes that noise. If I turned it off. Okay. Me. That would solve it. I have, he hasn't told me that yet. And protesters can stay as long as they're not sleeping, so some are playing board games in order to stay awake overnight. President Obama is going to be answering your questions tonight on a Google Plus Hangout. That's right. You have seen it on our news all the time, and now President Obama is going to take part in it. Kayle Nguyen's Vanessa Monaco has a look at that on the online buzz. Jackie never has problems with her inter with her connections. Okay, guys, you all are next. So if um, <coughs> we'll start with Joe, and then we, we may go around the around the room. And um, Haley, if you can stay muted, that'd be awesome. I'm sorry you've got a buzz, but I'll punch you guys up when he's talking. So at least we can get you some FaceTime. Gotcha. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I'm a stay-at-home mom. What is this? Who am I? <laughs> oh, it's a ball. It is. It is a ball. I'm so excited to. It's to an absolute doing blast. A29 <laughs> is still in though, right? Yes. Okay. So standby coming up next. Yep, Vanessa, and that's 4.30 here in mid-Missouri, so you'll have to check that out. Speaking of Google Plus Hangouts, just moments ago, a new service launched that seeks to bring cooking classes to your kitchen no matter where you live. Let's head to our cyber couch right now, where we actually have chefs from around the world standing by. And Joe Saad, I burn water at my house. So what you're saying is that there's hope for me with this new service. Tell us about how this works. Well, Sarah, first of all, thank you for having us and thank you for breaking this news. There really isn't anybody uh, that we would want to break this news more than you. You're a pioneer uh, in utilizing Hangouts with the news, so thank you. Uh, well, first of all, we have 24 chefs, two dozen from all over the planet, who are here to offer cooking classes to people in the comfort of their own kitchens right here on Google Plus Hangouts. And this is, I believe, a first on the web where people can surf through a, a wide array of classes, can uh, buy one, uh, invite their friends, and even buy those as gifts for their friends, take those classes, and when they're finally uh, finished cooking, they can enjoy a meal together too. That is great. So let's talk to some of your chefs here on the couch. Tell us, Jenny Kelly, a little bit about why you're excited about this. I'm really excited because I finally get to share other people live in their own homes without going anywhere about how cooking can be fun, easy, and flavorful, and you can have a great time. You can cook things for Valentine's Day for your loved one, like chocolate strawberries, or you can make a whole elaborate meal. It's kind of whatever you're at, and... It's so convenient. There's no reason why anyone can't learn how to cook now. So what kind of technology do you need for this, Joe? Uh, all you need is a computer, a webcam, and a, and a reasonable internet connection. Uh, but that's it. That's it. All right. Sounds good. And again, the, the name of the website is chefhangout.com, correct? Yes, it is. 
All right, we see that on our screen. Good luck to you with, with this project. We'll chat with you a little bit more about this coming up in just Thank a you. bit. Yeah, thanks Thank much. You. Americans have been trying to fight the fast food bulge. We'll have that story coming up. Um, I didn't have that A29 was dropped. It was a good job. <laughs> was it dropped? Um, I don't think it's here. Yeah, I can hear you. Um, there were some things dropped on the floor, but I didn't hear it from you. And also, I didn't know A29 was gone. So I <laughs> just re I just read it, just so you know. Okay, that's all good. It's all good. That was great, guys. We'll come back to you here in a moment. Thank you. Thank you. No Appreciate worries. that, Jenny. So you all had cameos. I, pumped, I popped up every one of you while he was talking um, about all of the different chefs. So, so that's great. And um, Krista? Yes. Um, remind Thanks. me where you are from again. I, I live, I am in Spanish Fork, Utah. Three, one, three, four, you go to East. Okay. All right, I'm headed to the other studio. I will be right back. But if you all want to talk more about this program for the people who are watching on G Plus right now, I'm sure they would love to hear <laughs> um, how it works and maybe what the price point is for that. Um, Joe, they'd probably be interested in hearing about that. Absolutely. Uh, well, I'd like to visit with the chefs and, and uh, get some of their feedback, but just to answer that question quickly for everybody that's on board or uh, online watching, um, the price points are up to the chefs, and the chefs are professionals, and, and you're paying for their time when you do buy a cooking class, just like you would in a, in a brick and mortar cooking class at, at some other uh, restaurant chain or other uh, cooking class schools. Um, so basically, you know, I think they, I would say the classes average somewhere between twenty twenty five dollars, with some that are more expensive and some that are less. Uh, we have some unbelievable uh, chefs, personalities, and diverse offerings of the stuff that these that these chefs have put together over the past several months has just absolutely inspired me. Uh, I want to start just on the left and. And we'll start with Haley. Uh, and maybe Haley, you could uh, introduce yourself and tell us where you're from, and then maybe uh, talk about one of your classes. Excellent. Uh, my name is Haley Otto. I am from Oklahoma City. And I really am getting into this um, kind of connection through food that we all have. And I think through G, it's, it's just a great opportunity. Uh, one class that I'm doing right now that I think is really fun is an aphrodisiac class. Uh, they're always, you know, what what are they? Everybody always goes straight to oysters, you know. But there's tons of really great foods. And I thought it'd just be a fun thing for Valentine's Day to make some delicious dishes based on nature's aphrodisiacs. So that's going to be a really good time. And um, I'm just glad to be a part of this group. That's awesome. Thank you, Haley. And, and uh, Jake Croston, uh, maybe you can share a little bit about your vision for this. Um, I'm super excited about this and have been ever since you told me about it. Um, you know, the ability of people to connect. Food is something people have always gathered around, um, you know, traditionally. And so to just have this media where you can not only gather with people and socialize, um, but you can interact and be entertained and, um, you know, just have a good time while learning something and, and then also get to spend time, like, been brought up with either family or friends or maybe even meet some new people, you know, on the site. So uh, I just think the experience is going to be great. Um, one of my classes I'm looking forward to is I call it the world's best shrimp cocktail because shrimp cocktail gets murdered and people do it so wrong. And uh, I think... You know, even when it's bad, people eat it. So <laughs> I want to show them how to make it good and go even faster. And, uh, and we already uh, visited with Jenny, but maybe you can tell us a little bit more. Um, I'm really excited because as a YouTube chef, I only get to interact with people so much. And I get so many questions a day on how to do the simple stuff. I mean, I even spent with my dad on the phone for 45 minutes, how to you know, select garlic and how to chop garlic and mince it. But whether or not you're trying to find to learn something, how to do something very easy, or you're just trying to make something 
fantastic for your family or yourself and you're just kind of scared and not sure what to do, that's kind of the part where I'm really excited about. And not only you get to learn something, but you get to interact and have like a great time and I'm very good at personal interaction and I feed on that energy and I love entertaining people. So that's, I'm just really excited all around about it. That's awesome. And Krista, let's hear about your once a week cooking classes. Uh, one day of cooking and seven days of meals. Definitely. Um, once a month cooking is actually something that I was introduced to where um, you take one day and you make 30 meals. And obviously that's a whole day. You know. So we've actually I'm, cut it down into a up. week. And so my idea is yeah. to make a week's worth of meals. All right, thanks a lot. And dinner time good is with soda? crazy busy. And so Moon I know pie. that... Um, that's our password. I know that so post moon pot pie on our Facebook page, and uh, Dave and I are going to be able to from Jimmy Jones. In the meantime, the Sioux men's basketball team at the University in, of Texas today um, you know, on the road. Two to three hours the Tigers are in Austin to pull those for the first time under day, I think is but it's the something that, as a stay-at-home mom for me, is, is a great uh, asset. Beat the Longhorns by 11 points on January 14th in tonight's game. That's at 8 p.m. 8 p.m. on ESPN. And for all those Tiger fans excited about the game tonight, we've got a brand new video to get you even more pumped up. Mm -hmm. A couple Mizzou students put this rap video together, and it went viral this weekend. Let's take a look at We Are Mizzou. And, uh, Krista, maybe you can finish up the, the end of what you just said about the once a week cooking. Um, yeah, sorry. <laughs> as much as I, that was a little, I had people talking in my ear. <laughs> um, okay, so the once a week cooking, I, yeah, what do you, I don't know, what do you want me, do you want me to answer a question? No, no, that, that, that's it. Uh, uh, and Stormy. Yeah, hey you guys. Mm -hmm. No, I, I'm just really excited about this. I, I have a real food focus. Um, as somebody with food allergies, mm -hmm. I've had to relearn how to navigate my own kitchen. And so being able to work with people in their own homes where they can look for substitutes or through their own pantries and we can talk about ways that they can cook a meal in their own home, um, to me that's, that's fabulous. You know, if you go to a cooking class at a brick and mortar type place, you're cooking with their tools, their ingredients, and I, I think there's great value in being able to... Thanks for that, Cody. Wow. This is okay, we are coming back to you guys. The Hangout Chefs. Those are some big grandma panties, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> we have a captionate contest going on. <laughs> we'll talk a little weather, and then we'll come to you all. Um, and why don't we start with you, Krista, okay. and um, it will... Is there something that you would like to say about this new service or why you're excited about it or um, well I'm definitely excited I have a once a week cooking series once a week cooking class series that's going to be going and it's basically going to be one day every week and um, I'm pretty excited about that I think that that's something that uh, you know I, I know that as a working mom as a stay-at-home mom dinner time is always crazy so I think um, that's something that I'm definitely excited about about doing. Sounds good. My producer just said we have about 30 seconds total for this particular hangout, so we'll have to be quick um, and talk that's about great. that. But that's great. Chris, Chris, one, one day of cooking, seven days of meals. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, Say it again. Joe, I didn't, I didn't hear that. It's one day of cooking and seven days of meals or dinners, and it's, yeah. it's pretty neat for the active person. Wow, that is great. And Krista, um, can I say Krista Dearden of ChefHangout.com? Um, actually, could you say budget gourmet mom? Yes, I would. That would be. Thank you so much. Would you type some scripts? No seal. <coughs> okay. Hey, stand by. You want to start by saying, "Let's check back in with those chefs in our." If you'd like me to, sure. That'd be lovely. Yeah. Be awesome. Hello to Cody and Kenneth and Tyler watching on our live stream. Well, we have chefs in our hangout today. We're going to check back in with them and find out what's going on. We are. Krista Dearden of Budget Gourmet Mom. Is that correct? 
That's correct. You are excited about um, this new way to bring cooking to your kitchen via Hangouts. Why? Well, I'm doing a once a week cooking class, which is basically seven meals. Um, you cook seven meals in one day, and then each day you're able to bring, take out a meal from your freezer, reheat it, and feed it to your family. So there's no stress, or um, you know, if you have a crazy, hectic schedule, there's no stress. You just pull it out, it's already ready, it's done. All right, that's great. And Joe, Joe, again, what technology do you need in order to bring these cooking classes into your kitchen? It's really great. All you need is a laptop, even any computer really, and a webcam. And you can get on a Google Plus Hangout and, uh, and uh, meet a chef online and take a class. All right, and again, that's chefhangout.com. We have the information posted on Google Plus and on our Facebook page as well. Guys, thanks a lot. In our captioning contest today, <laughs> no, these are not my panties. Woo. Just in case you're wondering, <laughs> it's Monday, so it's time to put on our big old panties, right? Larry Anderson shared this photo yeah, of some big old grannies here in panties, and Kevin Wong had this caption, just wait until you see her bra. And uh, Karen Dolan's uh, Weiderman says, do those come in red when I'm clogging my panties sometimes show? <laughs> and Jan M. Paschke Smith says, it would take something very bad Ooh. to get those in a wad. And Cheryl Wilson who says, I'm too big for my britches. Yes. <laughs> Are. Look at the size of those. If you have a photo that you'd like us to caption, upload it to the U News tab of our website. The photo with the most likes gets to go clogging with us, right? Wow. Wearing your granny's panties. You also get a thumbs up for us, and we like that. Vanessa? Oh, she didn't come out. Is it you time? That's pretty no, no, no. Uh, normally, she'll go to the hangout for the thumbs up. But, but okay. we did, uh, Kristen, you did a great job. Uh, what I was trying to say when Joe and I were <laughs> were talking over each other is exactly what Joe was saying. The first time you described it for us, it, it didn't come across in one day. But you you did great on air. That really came through. Thank you. Yeah. yeah that I, was that was great. Oh, sorry, Sarah. <laughs> yeah, Sarah, when, or, as I started talking, as much as I love your voice, Sarah, I know I heard it, and, and so I was, I'm like, oh, I can't, it's hard to talk when, when, Oh, it's uh, all you good. Know. You yeah. did great. You Thank did great. You. you did a great job. Our, our last shot is, we'll take a, a shot of the full hangout, and I'll mention again that we have our chefs in the hangout, and I'll bounce around to all of the thumbnails um, as well, and appreciate you guys sharing your time with us. We're excited to share this news. Congratulations. Thank you. Joe, Thank you. I also I sent you uh, a contact to Fred Perry. Um, he's a, a gentleman in Columbia who runs a culinary institute here. And I thought, gosh, that be, might be well to, to connect him with you in that respect. Um, Absolutely. Uh, definitely want to get in touch with him. OK, sounds good. I don't know if you saw that email. I did. Thank you okay. very much. Uh, Chris, the seven days is what made me circle you. My wife is interested in doing things like that. So mm -hmm. we'll oh. you on Google+. Yeah. Great. Great. Thank you so much. Hopefully she can join me in a class. That would be fun. <laughs> I hope so. That would be fun. Yeah, I, I would. I, I want to I mention to anybody watching online that I had no idea just how much fun and magical this experience was until I did it myself. And uh, it's pretty amazing. Uh, in, in one class, Jake Croston here led uh, the class uh, uh, about making a certain type of pork chop, only it's something that I would only expect to see on TV. And meanwhile, I have cranberries and, and orange zest and all kinds of amazing ingredients. One, four, and, 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 and what we made was just absolutely phenomenal. And then, but the experience of seeing that come together and have the interaction with and direction from the chef was absolutely unreal. Uh, it it, it uh, is very different than watching a video. You're actually engaging with the chef and with the room. And so I just want to make sure everybody understands just uh, you have to try a class in order to truly understand how awesome it is. I'm excited to take some of the chef's classes. Oh, I can't wait. Like Rob's chocolate class. That looks awesome. Uh, that was one of the first ones that that that, uh, that one of my friends' uh, wives bought. When she saw that, she said, "I've always wanted to learn chocolates." And Rob uh -huh. you know, in New Mexico is offering an introduction to chocolates class. Yeah. Hey, James, uh, I'm not worrying. I have big 
instruction. College game day is on Saturday. Okay. Um, I might mention that real quick. I also would like the viewers to understand that uh, that private classes are available here with with almost all of our chefs, and all you have to do is contact the chef. And if you want to have a cooking class party at your house and invite four or five people over or more, you can hire a chef for the hour or however long you want to do it. And uh, and and instead of jumping in with whoever wants to join, you can, in so many words, buy that chef's time for a private class. Okay. Amy Cordy, congratulations! Back. She won her passport game, and we are buying you lunch from Jimmy John's. GOP candidates are gearing up for tomorrow's Florida primary, at least two of them anyway. Mitt Romney is leading Newt Gingrich in the state by 15 points, according to the latest NBC News poll. The Florida primary is virtually a two-man contest since neither Ron Paul nor Rick Santorum are campaigning there. However, Santorum will be stopping in St. Charles, Missouri today. This comes after he canceled campaign appearances over the weekend to be with his sick three-year-old daughter. She suffers from a rare genetic condition that can be fatal. Santorum will speak at St. Charles Community College today about jobs and the economy. Missouri senators are debating a bill that changes the wording for discrimination. KOUH Jonathan Katz joins us now live from the state capitol to explain what this bill means. Your next, Dave. Okay. Oh, and Jay from the Aimless Chef just wanted to tell everybody hi. So he's one of the chefs in the Chef Hangout, so he was excited. Hi. Shout out, shout out from Jay. Hi. <laughs> Twitter. Okay, well, that 30 minutes seemed to go by really fast. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Has anybody else looked at the, um, hey. the calendar view? We'll no. take a shot of you guys in about 30 seconds, okay. and I'll give you, I'll point to you. Okay. You want news or waves? Or? The warm, breezy conditions we have in mid Missouri today, we have that uh, fire threat, so we'll avoid burning any outdoor materials. Our forecast today, 66 degrees, plenty of sunshine. We're going to be very mild again tomorrow with a high temperature at 62, but we will have a few more clouds in the area and a very slight chance of getting a bit of drizzle as that cold front passes through. All right, excellent. Thanks to all of our Hangout chefs today, including Jake Croston, Haley Otto, Jenny Kelly, Krista Dearden, as well as Stormy Schweitzer. Appreciate you joining us <laughs> and sharing your news with us about ChefHangout.com as it relates to Google Plus Hangouts. Also on our website, don't forget to check out the story about um, Mizzou hosting ESPN College Game Day on Saturday. Saturday. So you'll want to see Kansas. That. This is music from Boston. This is Chasing Dragons. Access Hollywood is next. Here's to you. Great job, guys. We Thank are you. We are clear um, on our TV signal. We're still streaming live on, on G+. So thanks again for sharing your half hour, actually more than that, um, with us. That's pretty exciting stuff. Um, I'm anxious to see how it goes and um, anxious to see. Have you had many people sign up for classes yet, Joe? Uh, I haven't launch? checked yet. Uh, we, just, we just went live this morning. Okay, excellent. And as far as um, the, the locations, oh, Jackie M., I wish you had joined earlier. I would have been able to, to punch you up and say hello to you. It's nice to meet you, Jackie. I don't know that she's able to hear us, but I don't think she can oh, hear the audio. She never has problems in Hangouts, and her tech, something is going on today. Oh, that's the, the gremlins. Uh, that happens to us all the time, too. But I'm glad that our technology um, made it through today, because I so appreciate you sharing that announcement with us. I'm we'll looking at the the, Go ahead. I'm looking at the website, and Stormy, your class has one seat taken now. Oh. Awesome. Yeah. That's progress. Yeah. yeah. Um, we'll, we'll chunk it up on our website as well and, and get those links out to you a little bit later. But I appreciate you sharing your time with us. 
um, as always. And good luck with your venture. Let, let us know how it goes. Maybe someday we can get you guys doing some live cooking demonstrations on U News as well. We'd love that. Awesome. That would yeah, be that fantastic. Would be fun. Yeah. All right. Take care, guys. Have a wonderful, have a wonderful day. See you later, Claire. Bye.